video is sponsored by Vistaprint. All right, before we get started on this killer DIY, I'm about to take you behind the scenes of the making of my very first ever, all time, never happened before holiday card. That's right, my kids are six and four and this is the first time I'm ever doing a holiday card. It's so cute though, take a look. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my mind. I will follow you wherever. And I won't waste it. So once I had my design set, I headed over to vistaprint.com because they have amazing holiday cards that are super easy to customize. I clicked on the embossed foil option just because I love that really high metallic sheen. I think it looks super expensive, but the cards are really affordable. So I needed something that was vertical. So this one here was a perfect option for me. I uploaded in the design that I already created into their template and I could drag and drop and adjust it until it fit exactly perfectly. So my front was done and on the back, they have a ton of options. I decided to make like a collage of photos throughout the year. At this point, you can customize your font, your text, colors, everything that fits your exact style. And now it's time to order these bad boys. So if you guys use my link, vistaprint.com slash the DIY designer, along with the code YTHOLIDAY19, you will get 50% off your holiday cards, along with a bunch of other cool holiday products. Now in just a couple days, my cards came and they look amazing. The quality is great, they're super thick. That gold embossed foil really went a long way in making them look super luxe. Now I also got these really cool like pearlescent shimmery envelopes and I got self-addressed labels, which not only saved me time in addressing them, but they self-seal. Score! Now on to the DIY. It's Friday, it's Friday. You know what that means. Hey everybody, happy Friday. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. Um, if you've never seen the show, what is up? My name is Orly. I'm so glad that you're here. Every Friday I release a new video and man, I love it so much. I'm having such a blast. So I appreciate that you're here. This video is perfect because we're kind of inching our way into the holiday season where we've got tons of holiday parties and fun things to go to. And I really wanted to make these really incredible embellished Lucite bags. They're gonna be perfect for holiday, really perfect year round because um, you can customize them completely to what you want. I'm gonna be using the clear bags. I'm gonna show you three different ways to embellish them. And one of them is a hack for a designer version that is thousands of dollars. So I can't wait to do that, it's super easy. On the area bag, the inspo bag, they go around the hardware, which I think is a really cool detail. So I bought this trim and I'll link it below, although it only came in 45 centimeter lengths. I would recommend getting a little bit more so that you can actually wrap it around the sides. But no matter how much you have, you always wanna cut it in half so that you're guaranteed to have the same amount on the front and the back of your bag. So I started off with the corner and at first I thought I'm just going to wrap around the corner, go across the top and around the other corner. But I wasn't able to bend the trim in the right way so I needed to cut it off. So what I did is I just cut off a piece that was big enough for the, the curved hardware and then cut off the other piece for the other side. Turned out to be a much simpler way. So you're gonna cut each of those sections off first, add a little bit of glue and sort of round it around that hardware. But as you can see, I didn't go all the way up to the top and that's because I still have to add this longer piece of trim. So what I did is I laid out the trim and figured out exactly how long I needed it before I reached the other side. Cut off that excess and you're gonna save that excess because I am gonna use it in just a minute. Now I'm just laying a nice thin piece of glue. You don't need a lot as long as you're using a really strong glue. At this point, use your fingers to feel for the edge. You want the trim to be right along the edge of the bag, nice and straight, but butting up right to the edge. Now, do you see that little gap? It was really hard to make a sharp L turn there because of the way the trim was working. So what I did is I took those extra pieces of trim and cut off the larger crystal at the bottom. Now I'm able to use that crystal and kind of pop it right in that corner. That now creates a beautiful natural curve going around the hardware and up through the top. So it sort of hides the fact that I wasn't able to make it one seamless 
uh, row. And it really does the trick. Once it's in there, you can't even tell and it hides it perfectly. So you're gonna do the same thing to both sides. You can see there, the one side is done. I give it a minute to dry, but I'm moving on. Now that I know what I'm doing, it's much faster. I cut both of my corners because I know those have to be separate pieces. Now I lay, line up my second longer trim, cut that to length, add my glue and line it up. Now I just fill in those tiny little gaps with the two little crystals on the bottom and that bag is done. It's got such great movement. It sparkles. It is so cool. Ugh, I'm obsessed. Okay, on to the next bag. This was the one that I kind of felt was going to be my like Chanel vibe. I saw this trim for $10 a yard and I thought it was so cool. Anytime a trim comes like this on that mesh, you want to cut off the mesh without cutting too close to the edge because that is what's holding all of the, the pearls and the rhinestones and everything onto it. Once everything was cut off, I laid it on my bag to get a sense of the design. I thought maybe I would do a double row, maybe I would add a bow. I wasn't really sure, but I knew I definitely wanted one row across the top, so that's where I started. I added about a one inch strip of glue, you know, not just one line. You kind of want to do one on the top and one on the bottom. So about an inch apart and then line it up. If it's not perfect, don't worry. The glue takes a second to dry so you can sort of slide it into place. And now you cut. I would not recommend cutting the strip first until you lay it down and know exactly where to cut. So start on one side, wrap it around, and then cut your other side. And that just guarantees that you'll be perfectly even. Now, the top was done. And really, like, I mean, it takes two seconds to do. It looks so cool. And I thought adding a bow just to the top on only one side would be nice. Because then when I wanted the bow, I could have that side facing out. And when I didn't, I could have the other side facing out. I'm going to let that one dry and I'm moving on to my last one. This is a really cool option if you guys want to use like colorful sick flowers or bows or anything that's really like three dimensional. Always lay out your design first. Lay it out, make sure you love it, and then instead of taking everything off, just pick up one flower at a time to glue them on. That way you're guaranteed that everything's perfectly even and exactly where you wanted it. And that's it. I mean, we made three bags in like under a couple minutes. How easy is that? I mean, cool trim, clear bag, glue. It's the end of my story. For any of these bags, if you want, you can put inside of the clear bag like a little satin, like drawstring bag on the inside so that you're not actually seeing all of the things inside of it, like your keys and your phone. Everything would go in a little like drawstring bag and you can drop it right inside. All right, guys, if you like this video, I really hope that you'll subscribe to the channel. If you're brand new here, subscribe and click that little bell so that you make sure to get a no notification. I can't speak English today. A notification when I have a new video out. And if you are a new subscriber, please tell me so in the comment section. Nothing makes me happier than seeing your face, thanking you personally, because it really does mean a lot to me. Um, all right, guys. People say I need to get a little action People say my love life is fiction People say I wouldn't give them no satisfaction Well I wouldn't know, it's beyond my imagination I keep my pants up high and my zipper closed And people wonder why I never get rid of those Awesome looking sunglasses that I And thanks again to Vistaprint for sponsoring today's video. Anyway, you get the picture right. People love to hate a play no matter wrong or right. What I like makes no difference. Best they go get a lie.